Good day, everyone. This is going to be a shorter, <laughs> shorter video than what I normally do. Um, I am going to ask the brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ um, that we may collectively pray for the latter reign of the Holy Spirit. I don't know why or how this has come about. But recently, and I'd say within a week, so according to this on July 19th, so last 10, 10 days or so, in prayer, um, of course, led by the Holy Spirit to pray, not according to my own works, I have been getting this notion to pray for the latter rain. Well, where does this latter rain come from? Uh, James chapter 5, verse 7, Be patient, therefore, brethren, unto the coming of the Lord. Behold, the husband men waiteth for the precious fruit of the earth, and hath long patience for it until he receive the early and latter rain. Now, you know, commentators, the context of this is, you know, there was two rains, you know, commonly known to Israel at the time. Um, but I also do believe that there is a spiritual component in all this. Um, in the book of Acts, you know, the, the apostles did, you know, had the power of the Holy Spirit to preach and to uh, work miracles just as Jesus Christ did. Um, some, I mean, there's differences of opinion, but what I'm just trying to get to you is that I believe the time has come that we as believers start praying for a lot of rain. Those that understand truth, those that understand the time that we're in, you know, with COVID-19, the Libra cryptocurrency being rolled out, the mask enforcement, which will later on be another quarantine reinforcement, COVID-19 is here to stay. And I know people may not like hearing that, but um, they're always going to roll out the second, third, fourth, 19th wave. I mean, it's they're not going to let kids go back to school for the most part. And we, people forget we're in summer. I mean, this is, I mean, recording this in July, and traditionally, without understanding any of the science, just I'm talking about traditionally, the flu season usually starts around the fall, winter, and sometimes even early spring seasons until it kind of dies down. Um, the reason for that is when, when, when it's colder, reactions happen slower and things can survive longer. That's what your refrigerator does. Your refrigerator doesn't stop the chemical reactions in your milk, your butter, your cheese, and all that. It just drastically slows them down, so it preserves the food longer. That's all That's all refrigeration is. And so when we're in summer, it traditionally, you know, these seasonal whatevers, people get out more, but... You know, it's hotter, so, you know, viruses and things of that nature don't have as long to live, you know, and they're, they're harder. So if we're looking at a second wave, and we've had this first shutdown, you know, and then all this stuff during the um, during the hotter seasons, uh, hot, hotter times of the year, this stuff isn't going away. So by the Holy Spirit, am I not only being led to pray the latter rain, but I'm being led to make this message to all of you that you just include this in your daily prayer. Um, I think the time is rapidly approaching, and as brothers and sisters in Christ, we may have our differences, but we are brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, and you know, no one's above the other, and all that good stuff. So if you would, and if you're and if you're feeling led, pray that. And if you're not comfortable with this, or if you you know disagree with the interpretation of this, that's fine. Um, just pray, just pray. And I think just in general, I think we should all pray more. Um, things are really kicking off in Israel, and I don't mean the futurist evangelical way of thinking. Um, it's. It's rapidly approaching, and we all need to watch. Be watchmen on the wall. I'll, I'll leave you with this, too. I used to 
There have been times in my Christianity, in my being born again in the Spirit, that I have... I have sinned in, I don't want to say mocking, but disbelieving um, when Jesus Christ says, I will come as a thief in the night. Because I was like, well, we got to, you know, there, there's the, there's these things and, 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 and down the, and through the years, my methodology has changed on that. I was like, oh, you know, we've got to see these things. And, you know, of course, everybody will see them. So, I mean, will you really come as a thief? And... The answer is yes, and I had to repent of that thinking here recently and ask forgiveness. Because um, I think this this COVID-19 caught a lot of people off guard. In the first six months, we saw the world change. 50 million Americans, 50 million Americans are filing for first-time unemployment benefits. 50 million. That is staggering. I mean, they're propping up the stock market. They're giving away trillions of dollars. The dollar is about to go away. And there's other people that have covered this topic much better than I am, but I'm just giving a synopsis. The time is rapidly approaching, and if we don't watch, and I'm not saying our salvation is based on watching, our salvation is based on faith, but in faith, let us watch what is happening in the world. Let us pay attention to, of course, covid let us pay attention to this vaccine mandate and let us refuse the vaccine. Let us be on guard for more talks of a cryptocurrency or digital currency. We don't even really, you know, a side note to that, the, the Federal Reserve, I don't know if some of you notice this or not, but the Federal Reserve has, there's a, there's a national coin, there's a national coin shortage. Most places you go, not only have the sign with social distancing, put mask on, things of that nature, but they also have this national coin shortage. It's all by design. They are pushing people into a, in a more electronic thinking, trying to push those last few cash users away. And, you know, I don't primarily use use cash, um, but still... They are, they are, they are warp speeding this satanic new world order, which will unfortunately be ran by Israel. Now, of course, you know, we still need that, need a man of sin to be, or a group of people to be um, identified, but I think that's coming very soon. So please, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, please. Pray for the latter rain of the Holy Spirit so that we may turn people away from the satanic agenda and show them by the power of the Holy Spirit that Jesus Christ is the true Savior, the true Messiah, and not this false Messiah, this Metatron fallen angel from Israel that they're going to roll out, whether it be you know, a man that's, that's trained, you know, or, or if it's, you know, the, if it's just the manifestation of a fallen angel in human form, I don't know. I don't have, I don't have the details from, we don't have the details from the Bible on that. We just, we're just told to watch the season. So the season now is COVID-19, perpetual lockdowns, economic collapse, economic reset, cryptocurrency, electronic transactions, to not buy and sell, a forced vaccination, which is not really vaccination, but a new novel technology, an mRNA replicator, and their falsely claimed Moshiach, which they claim is about to be revealed. So James chapter 5, verse 7, it's important, I believe, that the time has come for us to add this in our daily prayer. Thank you, brethren. God bless. I will pray for you all, and I pray that you and I ask that you pray for me and my family as well. It's not going to be easy. Now, of course, we can't do anything without the Holy Spirit, so the Holy Spirit will guide us. But still, it'll be things are about to get rough, and they're not going to get better. But that does mean, this all does mean that Jesus Christ is coming very shortly.
and I won't use the R word or the T word, um, but we are, st I believe we are staring down the barrel of a loaded gun. Um, and, and I know I, I kind of ramble, but let me just leave with this. We live in a very exciting time. The prophets, John the Revelator, you know, obviously Jesus Christ who gave the revelation. This whole history of this fallen earth from Adam and Eve to Jesus Christ coming back, we have been blessed to be born in a time where we can not only witness this, but be part of, you know, only by the grace of God, that we can be part of something and that we can see these things unfolding. And you all will be in my thoughts and prayers. I don't know a lot of you. And I pray that If we all are faithful till the end, and I don't mean that's a, you know, a means of salvation, I just, let us watch, let us be mindful, and let us be mindful of the time that we're in, and let us be on the guard for false teachers, especially those found in the churches, and be wary of anybody that tells you that a vaccine is gonna get us out of this. It is not. This world, is gone from the January, February 2020, uh, you know, pre-COVID mindset. It's done. And it's never going to be the same. Thank you all, brethren. God bless. And yes, please, if you're being led, pray for the latter rain.